Good morning, guys. What's up? Um, just want to take a moment to talk about something that's really touching my heart right now. Uh, today, I'm going to have some testing done on my heart. Honestly, symptoms don't look great, but I'm still living. You know, I'm still alive. Uh, definitely, the symptoms are concerning. And my prayer is that it's all a fluke and that everything's going to work itself out. And whether that's the truth or not, time will tell. Um, but this morning, I just wanted to share something real fast. A dear friend of mine gave me a scripture for an upcoming speaking event that I have. And since I've been going through that this week, it's really been speaking to me heavily. Um, and I had it wrote down right here. So Second Corinthians 4, 7 through 18. Basically, as I'm reading through it, a couple of verses that have really stood out to me. Four, verse 8, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. We may be beaten down, we're never crushed. We may be persecuted. We may be going through these woes of life, life, but we are never overcome. And this has really been, really been speaking to me this week in a fashion that is just unreal. Because for those of you that have known us for a really long time, we have been going through something for a really long time. It seems like one thing after another and one thing after another. If it wasn't a back surgery, it was a, a head injury or it was a cancer scare or it was a, a lumpectomy or it was a brain tumor or it was a blood pressure issue or a, an ablation or a pacemaker or a heart condition. And I will admit that it has been it has been tough it has been tough because anytime I see my dear sweet bride going through something that is excruciatingly hard on me and sometimes I, I may not handle it with the best of I don't know that sometimes I don't dance through it. Sometimes it's quite ugly, to be honest. And it all brings us to this point in life where we wonder, you know, if, if we're doing something right, if we're, you know, whatever. But the amazing thing to me is regardless of what we've went through, every single thing that we've been through has done two things on the surface. The first one has brought us closer to our God, our maker. And the second one is, has brought us closer to each other through all of these trials and hardships. And another beautiful thing about it is we have been able to see it manifest in other people's lives uh, whether we want to admit it or not there is always somebody that is watching you there is always somebody that is waiting on you to do something that leans away from your faith when you're going through a trial they're waiting on you to just speak that keep the faith in God lean hard into his arms 
when times get hard, when it feels like we are going to be crushed, when it feels like we are just going to be swept away by all of these woes, lean hard into the arms of Christ. He is holding you. He will keep you. That is really what's weighing on me today as I'm preparing to go and have these tests run. I've not been very productive in my ministry the past couple of weeks. I've not made any videos. I've not edited any videos. I still have several pictures to go through and edit and I've just not been productive and I've not felt good. Um, Hopefully, after the day, I will be able to press on one way or another. I will get answers as to what's going on because sometimes that's the worst part of a situation is not having answers. So hopefully, after the day, I will have answers. I will keep you posted. I just want to remind everybody at the end of this passage, it says, so we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light, momentary affliction, light, momentary affliction, doesn't matter what we're going through, it is light in comparison. It's preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison as we look not to the things that are seen but to the things that are unseen. Don't worry about what we're going through in life. We're gonna have heart conditions. We're gonna have death. We're gonna have all kinds of things. Uh, persecution, friends not liking us. It, it, it's all okay. It's all okay because in the end, when we have Christ, we have an eternity with him and that doesn't even doesn't even compare to what we're going through today on this earth. It's all gonna go away. Keep your faith in God. And until next time, remember, repent, transform, praise and worship. I thank y'all for being understanding. It will be back on track soon. I promise. God bless you.